Hi, I'm Joachim for Statistics Globe, and in this video, I'll explain how to create a ggplot2 plot with transparent background using the R programming language. In the video, I'm going to show you two examples, and both of these examples are based on the data frame that we can create with lines two and three of the code. So if you run these lines of code, you can see at the top right of RStudio that a new data set has been created, which is called data. And if you click on this data frame, you can see that a new window is opened, which is showing the structure of our data frame. And as you can see, our data contains five rows and two columns, X and Y. Now, if we want to draw these data with a ggplot2 package, we also need to install and load the package, as you can see in lines five and six. I have installed the package already, so for that reason, I'm just going to load it with line six of the code. And after running this line of code, we are able to use the functions of the ggplot2 package, such as ggplot and geombar, as you can see in lines eight and nine. So if you run these lines of code, you can see that a new plot object is appearing at the top right, which is called ggp. And we can draw these data at the bottom right of our studio by running line 10 of the code. And then you can see that we have created a bar chart in the ggplot2 style that you might already know. However, you can also see that this bar chart is not transparent yet. So in order to make our bar chart transparent, we need to apply the theme function, as you can see in line 13 of the code. And within the theme function, you need to specify the rect argument to be equal to element rect fill equal transparent. And then you need to add the theme function to our original plot that we have created before. And I'm also storing the output of this in a new plot object, which is called ggp transparent one. So if you run lines 12 and 13 of the code, you can see that another plot object is appearing at the top right. And in order to export this plot with a transparent background, we can use the ggsave function, as you can see in lines 15 to 17 of the code. And within the ggsave function, we need to specify the name of our plot object. Then we need to specify the file name that we want to use for our exported file. And we need to specify the bg argument to be equal to transparent. So if you run lines 15 to 17 of the code, you can see that a new plot has been created on the desktop of our computer. And as you can see, this plot has a transparent background. However, you can also see that the grid in the background of our bars is still existing. So for that reason, I want to show you another example in which I'm also removing the grid background of our plot. And we can do that as you can see in lines 19 to 25 of the code. So in these lines of code, I'm again using our original plot ggp as basement. And then I'm adding to this the theme function. However, this time I'm not only specifying the rect argument to be equal to transparent, I'm specifying all the elements of our plot that I want to make transparent to be equal to transparent. So in this case, I'm specifying the legend background, the legend box background, the panel background, the panel grid major, the panel grid minor, and the plot background to be equal to element rect fill transparent. So if you run lines 19 to 25 of the code, another plot object is appearing at the top right of our studio, which is called GG transparent 2 and we can export this plot as we did before with a gg save function. So if you run lines 27 to 29 of the code, another plot is created on the desktop of our computer. And as you can see this time, this plot contains only the bars of our bar chart, but all the other elements have been made transparent. So in this tutorial, I have explained how to make a plot transparent using the ggplot2 package in the R programming language. However, in case you want to learn more on this topic, you could check out my homepage, statisticsglobe.com, because on the homepage, I have recently published a tutorial in which I'm explaining the content of this video in some more detail, and I will put a link to this tutorial into the description of the video. Furthermore, if you have liked the video, I would be very happy if you leave me some positive feedback in the comments and make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel to get notifications in future when I'm releasing new videos to the channel. That's it for this video. See you in the next video. Bye bye.